You know, we've still got about six inches of snow on the ground okay. officially at the uh, National Weather Service. I suspect by this time next week, a lot of that's a lot of it. Not all of it. A lot of it's going to be gone here. Yeah, so. it's going to get wet out there. Yeah, it is. And that and then we start kind of start to think about, uh, you know, uh, flooding. Sure. So that'll be the, the next thaw. concern. Yesterday yeah, yeah. we crossed the 32 degree milestone. Today we crossed 40 degrees for the first time since January 21st. So that means 50 is our next one. We've had 56 straight days according to the National Weather Service office. Appreciate them digging up this up. Uh, tied for the 13th longest and we have several days this week in the 45 to near 50 degree range. Here's the vantage point outside right now. 40 degrees. Yes, the trade off the breeze which is up to 20 miles per hour. We are going to have gusts tonight, 25 to 35. You see the cloud cover around 40 in Greenfield, Bunker Hill, 34, uh, 38 in Fishers, 35 in Sharpsville, and we've got 38 in Carmel at this hour. And the temperature change dramatic over the last 24 hours. We're at a good 10, some cases 15 degrees warmer than this time 24 hours ago. Now, live Doppler 13 radar. Uh, you could draw a line basically from Richmond, Muncie, Kokomo, perhaps Lafayette. A uh, near and north of that line going to have mixed precipitation. Around the metro area, most of what falls will be rain, although I still think we may get some sleep pellets that will mix in at the onset of this here over the next couple of hours. And but a better shot though, you get up toward Fort Wayne, up near the uh, Michiana border, then it's going to be more mix and more snow. Okay, this is at 9 p.m. That's the wind will go from southeast to southwest. And so it will keep our temperatures, the air temperatures, well above freezing overnight tonight. However, the ground is still very cold. So some of this can freeze up a little bit as we go through tonight into tomorrow morning. Do I think it's going to be a widespread problem? Probably not, but some sidewalks, side streets, you can have a few slick spots around. In addition to that, I also believe we're going to have some drizzle and fog around in the morning, and so we could have some low visibility here. Tomorrow, a different day. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be eh, relatively colder than today, as we'll have temperatures that would be parked in the middle 30s versus 40 degrees. As we go ahead, I can tell you that the pattern itself, after we get through tomorrow, is, is fairly quiet. Best day of the week, in my opinion, is going to be on Tuesday. Sunshine, mid 40s, but even Wednesday, we probably will come close, if not hitting 50 degrees here. So uh, no big storm systems until perhaps a week from now. So here's a seven day forecast subject to change. But here's our call right now. 37 on Monday, mainly 747 on Tuesday, partly cloudy mid to upper 40s there midweek and then Thursday, Friday. Again, we're not talking real big shots of cold air and looking ahead to next weekend. Of course, it's early that could change, but we've got temps in the upper 40s, perhaps even lower 50s. So uh, we are getting our January thaw about a month late. It looks like.